Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make use of the mix shader directly in Blender. And after seeing the lava video which we did for my, a couple of people have requested this tutorial and today we're going to be talking about this. First of all, I'll try as much as possible as I can to explain how the mix shader works and after that I'll show you how you can make mix shaders for just textures and then we're going to go ahead and talk about how you can use the mix shader for shaders on how you can actually blend these things together to get desirable result and so if you're interested to learn something new today or probably want to refresh your mind about something you know let's get started and first of all before we get started i would like to simply explain to you guys that the mixed shader is a shader on its own and the mixed shader as it's called is actually a shader that actually mixes two shaders together so by default there is going to be some sort of blending mode and from here you're going to be able to plug your first shader or your second shader so you're going to be able to plug a shader there another shader somewhere here and also within this other port you should be able to plug either something known as a fraction or a mixer All right, so this fraction or mixer that you will be plugging directly here will be what will actually blend these two together. All right, so they will be what will blend these two shaders together. So if you want to simply make a mix of two shaders, you can either use this to control this by using a simple slider or you can go ahead and use this. As a mix shader, mix shader actually has the same properties that most shaders have, especially when we get to talk about the output and if this can be plugged to things like displacement and all that. Yes, of course, if you want to see more videos like this, you should check out the other video where we talked about introduction to hypershade and maybe that will be a bit more explanatory. So let's get started. Directly here, we have Blender open and it's very cool to have this cube but i'm going to simply delete this and press shift and a to actually bring in uh, a uv sphere so a uv sphere looks good let's just go ahead and increase the segment that we have directly there and also increase this i'm also increasing the rings so i can have something much more smoother i'm going to make this just 60 and also make this about 60 so let's just do that real quick and there you have it with this done next thing i want to do is go over to the modify from modify i'll be adding a subdivision and just simply leave it as it is let's simply apply this because there's no need to keep it and then we're going to jump over to the shading section now directly inside the shading section by default once we come through you would notice that we do not have any form of material so you can add materials by simply going over to this part where you have the shading and you can press the plus button to add one. By just simply adding one, automatically you'll notice that we've added a principal BSDF, or principal shader is now being added here. So let's zoom in a little bit to look at this, and you will see that our principal shader, principal shader, all right, which is the shader that you can basically use for most of the things that you want to do. Our principal shader by default has, you know, it has almost everything that we want but it doesn't have any form of mixing at least not yet so we need a shader that we can use to mix things inside here so we're going to simply add a mix shader so to add a mix shader or any other shader that you want you can definitely do that by clicking on the add button here or you can hold down shift and a the same way you do those in the viewport when you want to create something it's the same thing you're going to do and we're going to add a simple mix shader and also you can notice that this mix shader has a color output that you can plug to a surface so before we even start talking about what and what we need to do with this it's also cool to check out the textures that we are going to make use of so just like i explained earlier this is a fraction or a mixer or a blender or depending on what you or what app you're working with the same thing applies everywhere so you plug in the first and the second or the first and the second depending on the app you're working with and you'll be able to plug in a color map that can drive this and basically color maps are made out of black and white images so if the image is black it simply means it's not going to be visible and any part of the image that is white is actually going to be visible i guess you guys will understand that more when we start talking about this with this done you will be able to plug in any kind of shaders that you want it doesn't just end with you plugging shaders you can also plug in textures here and use these textures to drive your object so we're going to start off by just simply picking these up and then we can plug this directly here but before we get started i would like to plug in a couple of textures so that we can see these things for ourselves so i'm going over to this part we have called texture come down to this part called 
checker and I'm going to plug this checker directly to this so that I can see how it wraps around. It looks good and I'm going to you know just simply take that out. Let's add one more. So I'm going back to uh, texture and uh, let's try this. I don't know what this is. So and let's see what it looks like. Okay, looks good as well. So I'm just packing these things up one place. I'm also going to do another one. So texture and we're going to add one last one. So let's try with the wave and see what this looks like. All right, so this looks pretty, pretty cool. Everything looks fine. So within these ones, we can also notice that we have this as a black and white color. So we can use this to actually drive the mix. If you want to add shaders, you can go ahead and you know bring in the amount of shaders you want, depending on what shader you want. So let's say I want an emission shader. For example, I can plug this emission shader anywhere I want. And I can still do the same thing. Say uh, maybe I would need something like, um, Maybe we can still use the same principle BSDF, all right? We can still use that. So for this shader, how you get to work with the mix shader is first and foremost, we're going to simply plug this over to the surface. So we have this mix shader running there. Next thing which we'll need to do is start plugging the textures where we want them to be. So I would like this first texture to be here. So you would be able to see this happening there. Then the next thing which I want to do is to go ahead and plug in the checker. Now see what happens once I plug in the checker. You see I'm beginning to have a mixture of this because the fraction of this is set to 0 0.05. With 0 0.05, set it simply simply means that you can now slide all the way down to get more values from the first one or you can get more values from the second one at any point in time you can come around and simply change the colors of this it doesn't matter all right so you can get either values from here but if you want to use a map to control this then of course we can start introducing texture maps that we will use to control this so i'm going to pick up this texture map and connect it directly to this part called fraction and here you start seeing that the parts where we have this fraction mixing up, that is where we're having this. Remember earlier when we started talking about this, I said you can go ahead and change this thing. So the parts that have black in, uh, colors, so I'm just going to simply replug this so that you can see for yourself. So the parts that have black colors, let's scale this up so that it's still visible. All right, so the parts that you see that has black colors are the parts that will intersect to show the texture on the base and the part that has white colors will also, you know, make the other textures visible, the ones on, on top. So if I go ahead and plug this now, you'll be able to see that we're having that view. All right, so let's plug in something else that we can use for a very good example. I'm also going to take out this, all of these things, because we don't need this here. So we've talked about texture. Now let's talk about how you can mix shaders. So I have this shader here, which is our principal BSDF. So I'm going to plug this here. And with this now, I'm going to change the color to something like this. So let's have it red and let's also leave the specularity, everything all the way up. Next thing which I would like to do is to bring in my emission. And with this emission now, I would like to select this and change it to maybe something like this. I think something like this looks good. So with that done, I'm also going to simply, you know, plug this over to the surface just to see how it looks. Looks good. I'm going to increase the strength to about, say, four. So we can see that this is glowing. All right, next thing which I need to do is just simply plug this directly here, then connect this other one here. So I have two different shaders plugged in here. And you can see that if I turn this down, I'm going over to the principal shader. And if I turn this all the way up, I'm lighting the entire scene with this, all right? So I would like to use this same texture to change how I would like this thing to work. So let's just simply turn this all the way off plug this here and then let's minimize that and then I can pick this out and plug this directly here and once I plug this there you start seeing very very interesting things happening around our scene so with this now you can essentially or you can simply start making very interesting stuff and that was how we went ahead to make the lava texture and this is about it this is how you can you know make use of the mix shader directly here in blender for you to actually you know work with displacement of course you can go ahead and use the mix shader to you know play with the displacement you can still use the same mix shader to mix things together and you know plug it directly onto any of these parts that you want and this is about it guys i would like to know if you learned something from this and if you like this video if you wanted me to talk more about shaders directly in blender i would like you to put those comments in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do hit the like button turn on notification and if you're new here it's also going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification and until i see you guys again with the tutorial 
update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.